Hello, sixth graders. Today, you are going to be thinking about energy transfer and making a model to show how the unseen processes that result in this energy transfer cause the warmer air that we experience near the ground. So the first thing that I need you to do for today is check your work. Does your page 33 that you completed yesterday, does it have the same data that mine does? If not, I need you to update your work right now, the very beginning of class. For the launch, you're going to be looking at page 34 in your digital notebook and completing questions based on this data right here. Following that, you will be looking at page 35 to do a summary, again, of the information collected here. So let's take a look at the digital notebook. So here we have our post data collection questions. So it says, review the data collected in your data table on the previous page. Answer the questions below, including specific data values to support your responses. So it says here, do all the surfaces receive a similar amount of incoming light? So we would go back and take a look at that. So it, we are going to be looking at incoming light. Do they all have a similar amount? And I would say no. It looks as if grass, cement, and dirt are all in the range of 500, but the car is at 754. So to me, that does not seem to be the same. So then I would come back to the notebook and add that. So I might say the grass, dirt, and cement received similar amounts of light with values, with flux values in the 500 range. The car, however, received a greater amount and I think it was 754. So I have included specific data. I talked about the 500 range here and 754 here. I also named the specific surfaces when um, using those values. So I would say no. All right then, are all the surfaces similar temperatures? So again, we're gonna go back and look at our data. So we're gonna come over here and look at the surface. Do they all have approximately a, um, the same temperature? So again, you would say yes or no, and you're gonna to wanna to include the range. So typically when um, we include ranges, we include the highest value and the lowest value. So for example, here, the lowest value is on the grass with a temperature of 76.1 Fahrenheit. And the highest value is with the dirt, a temperature of 77.5 Fahrenheit. So you would decide if one degree Fahrenheit is a big difference or not and answer that question. Again, go back. Do all the surfaces reflect a similar amount of light? So now you're going to come back here. What do you think? Looking at those values. Again, you're going to want to include specific values in your data um, and response. And then finally, what is the air temperature above the ground compared to the temperature right at the ground? So then we would come back to our data. What do you think? The temperature at the right at the ground, okay, so at the surface, compared to the temperature of the, sur um, of the air above the ground. Which one is larger, which one is smaller? And give some specific data in your responses. That will conclude the launch.